so people probably have this conception now that the budget's passed, that schools are out of the woods. Is that true? I think is, is the question we want to ask you. Well, I think there's there's still one more step that has to happen for us. Um, so big, certainly big step with approving the budget and the revenue source for the budget and the budget implementation bill. So actually determine how the money's going to be spent. Big steps, and we're very appreciative of what I know was an extremely difficult vote for our, our legislators. But there's still another step now for us, and that's Senate Bill 1, which has been approved by the House and the Senate, and that's the new evidence-based funding formula. So language in the bills that were overridden last night references that state aid will be paid through the evidence-based funding formula. So that's the mechanism in the bills that were became law yesterday um, that the the new evidence-based funding formula is going to be used to distribute general state aid. That that funding formula is part of Senate Bill 1. That's been approved by the House and Senate, but is, action has not been taken by the governor yet. So until Senate Bill 1 or some other version of that is put into place, there's no law to authorize the use of that new funding formula. So um, my understanding is there's still another piece that has to happen in order for the revenue that's now been approved uh, through the uh, overrides yesterday to actually distribute the general state aid money.